Hi everyone, story time again. Tonight's story is called Contrary Mary. Can you work out who's Mary? Okay, this one, and she's very contrary. I think there's a rhyme that goes with Contrary Mary. And this little one, this little thing, she's a little mouse. Whatever they ask her to do, she doesn't want to do. She wants to do the opposite. And it's by Anita Geram. I think we've read this one for a very long time. So here's Mary. She's looking a bit cross, getting up in the morning. So I'll move back so you can see this. When Mary got up this morning, she was feeling contrary. She put a cap on back to front and her shoes on the wrong feet. Are you awake, Mary? Her mum called. No, says contrary Mary. And there they are, having their breakfast. For breakfast, there was hot toast with peanut butter. Mmm, yum. What would you like, Mary? asked Mum. Guess what Contrary Mary said? I'll have roast potatoes gravy, please, said Contrary Mary. Mmm, a bit strange for breakfast. She is Contrary. When they went to the shops, it was raining. Buruga, it's been raining with us today. Come under the umbrella, Mary, said Mum. But contrary, Mary didn't. She just danced about getting wet. She actually looks to Ian Hathis, doesn't she? She looks quite uh, happy, having fun in the rain. All day long, contrary, Mary did contrary things. She rode a bicycle backwards. She went for a walk on her hands and she read a book <laughs> upside down like this can you imagine trying to read your book upside down she flew a kite along the ground mary's mum shook her head guess what she said mary mary quite contrary that's the rhyme and then she had an idea Look at Mary going to bed. What can you see is wrong with that picture? That evening at bedtime, instead of tucking Mary in the right way, Mary's mum tucked her upside down. So her head was at the bottom and her feet were by the pillow. Then, instead of closing the curtains, she opened the curtains. She turned on the light and... <laughs> She kissed Mary's toes good night. <laughs> as much as I love my children, I'm not sure I want to kiss their toes now. <laughs> I would though, I would. Mary laughed and laughed. Oh, contrary Mary, said Mum. Do you love me, contrary Mary? asked Mum, giving her a cuddle. Oh, look at that. See, that's why mummies and daddies, they don't mind when you get cross, because they love you anyway. Oh, <laughs> look. She's given a beautiful kiss. But guess what she said to mummy when mummy said, do you love me, Contrary Mary? Contrary Mary said, no. No, said Contrary Mary. And she gave her mum a great big kiss. What do you think she means? When she says no, she actually means yes. So contrary Mary wasn't having a good day, but her mummy sorted. Mummy made her have fun and smile in the end. Now, um, hope everyone's okay. And I said some work, like I said, that it was to do with Farmer Duck, wasn't it? Now I also, I'm sure it's the gigantic turnip. I put, I asked you to listen to this story. Um, Mr. Tumble is the one that's reading the story, and there's three parts to it. And I want you to read this story, listen to this story, and there's some dance moves like we do in the hall during PE. So you could you'd have to listen to it all in one go because I think each one is 20 minutes. So don't um, break it up into the parts. Don't listen to it all in one go. Also, I put on the learning log a nursery. You can go on the website on early years and I did put it on your seesaw activities as well. 
I hope some of you listened into those lessons this morning. There's, they're all on, I think they start about 10 o'clock and then there's a really lovely one, a blending one at 11. But you can watch it at any time. But I'd really love you, I'm looking at my time now, I'd really love you to listen to those lessons as much as you can because they're perfect. They're just like iphonic lessons. And I was going to do some, but actually they're there already, so you can listen to them. And I really would love you to reception to go on to apps. So nursery, you can use those as your sounds, because I know some of our nursery are already blending and starting to read words. You know who I'm talking to. Well done. And I, but I wouldn't, reception, I'd love you to go on to Active Learn and read some of the books. Make sure when you're on there, you press the little green bug and you can do some of the quizzes and answer some of the questions. I've been looking, I can keep a little check out and I've only seen three people on Active Learn reading the books. So can you all make sure you access the Active Learn and listen to the phonic lessons and then the learning log activities are there and the seesaw activities as well if you need them. So there's plenty, you don't have to do them all, but I'd love you to focus on the reading and the phonics. Um, but before we go, we've got a special birthday, haven't we, today? There's a little girl in nursery who is 49. Am I right? No? Four? That's right. Heidi's four today. So remember I said you could, on your seesaw, some of you in nursery, you could message her a little, uh, send her a little message. If you just go on to add and you can pick who you send the messages to. So I, you could send her a lovely message. I hope you've had a lovely day, Heidi. Pembley Tapis. Now we are four. Time for our prayers. So here we are, we've got our candle. And I hope, I can see, I saw a lovely picture of Harry and Lucy Gallagher with the big sister, Ellen, and Harriet or lighting the candle and I think I saw Annalisa she was saying her prayers beautifully I saw a lovely video of that and I've seen some really beautiful beautiful work so keep it up let's join your hand then do you and heed and in your heart in the name of the Father Son Holy Spirit Amen God our Father we come to say thank you for your love today thank you for my family and all the friends you give to me. Guard me through the dark of night and in the morning send your light. Amen. Bring it heart, mind, respite, love. Amen. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. I hope some of you will go on to Active Learn. I know I keep going on about it, but it's really important you keep that reading up and those phonic lessons because they are really quite good. Take care. No star. Mm, good night, God bless. Don't eat too much cake, Heidi.